What is this in Mandarin? At Kildare School, it's not just during Mandarin class that kids practice. Loran Yoakum gets to master one of the world's most widely spoken languages and connect with his grandparents. They say every year, wow, how are you this tall or your Chinese is really good this year. Confucius Institute signed an agreement with the Edmonton Public School Board 12 years ago, also appearing at other Canadian schools and universities. They were Chinese government initiative, introducing the country's culture and language to the West, often providing funding, teachers and teaching materials in exchange for campus space. But Mandarin learners aren't the only ones paying attention. CSIS has legitimate concerns. This former diplomat says Canada's spy agency has problems with Confucius, suspecting them of espionage on Canadian academics. An intelligence report from 2013 says Confucius Institutes are an organization for spreading propaganda and do not allow critical discussion of topics that the Chinese government deems sensitive. <laughs> Despite the warnings, cash-starved educators may be attracted by the program. So I'd most of all like to see governments, school boards provide the funding for Chinese language. Um, but if there isn't enough of money available, it's very hard sometimes or difficult to say no. But some parents are simply uneasy about having their children influenced by China in class. Definitely students should be exposed to whatever kind of Chinese culture can be made available to them. Uh, the Chinese state has very different values from from Canada. Uh, the Edmonton School Board recently renewed its deal, <laughs> saying parents and kids love it. Ten board delegates were flown to China to sign the paperwork last year, all paid for by Beijing, a move the board defends. I learned about the value that some of our principals within Edmonton Public see in having that partnership. Well taxpayer dollars were not used. I'd be concerned about the optics if Alberta taxpayer dollars were used to pay for my trip to China. EPSB says it reviews the curriculum, has no censorship concerns. Some other Canadian schools are not convinced. New Brunswick's Education Department says it's out after its current agreement ends in three years. Rafi Bujikanian, CBC News, Edmonton.